So, James, when it comes to the next manager, Ryan Mason, is it, that's going to be an interim between now and the end of the season, try and get Spurs in the top four. From there, then they bring in their permanent man. But wh who do they want? Well, look, I mean, I've heard that Thomas Tuchel is a possibility. Um, Maurizio Pochettino, a lot of the fans would like to see that. You have to wonder, I, mean, I did interview Daniel Levy a few years ago and he, he, he told me then that he would be open to Pochettino returning one day, take that at face value with a massive pinch of salt, it's Daniel Levy. Um, you know, I, I just don't think enough has changed at the club to, to really warrant going back to Pochettino, all the frustrations he had in 2019 largely will still be there. On the flip side, he might be the one manager who could convince Harry Kane to stay and maybe sign a new contract if, if the Manchester United interest materialises. Looks that, you know, if they really went for him, I think they could get him this summer. Uh, but look, I don't think... That, you only need to look at the, the mess they went through in appointing Antonio Conte. They, tr they ended up with Nuno Espirito Santo when they went through so many other managers. He was about the fifth or sixth choice <laughs> for that job. If you think about Gennaro Gassuso, they were very close to appointing him. There was a fan backlash. They decided to go somewhere else. There were so many other managers in that cycle then that I don't think they know who they want. I think, there's a t I think Thomas Tuchel, I remember he did a press conference when he was Chelsea manager talking about how he was a Tottenham fan growing up. He loved the Premier League. I think he would, I think he would take that job if he was offered it. Um, he, I suppose you could think about other things like Conte's 3-4-3 system. To some extent, they built a squad around that. Tuchel liked to play with three at the back primarily, so there's a kind of a logical fit there. Um, he's good with the media. I could see, I could see Thomas Tuchel maybe working for them. He's a big enough name that you know, with Champions League pedigree, that Spurs would feel like they, they're getting a they're getting a top top manager. But any manager walking into that club now has got to ask themselves the question: Well, if they're not going to back Antonio Conte, are they going to back me? Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.